Hello everyone, it's Jen from Old Tinkerer Studio and welcome to the 8th tutorial of the UI and Game Art for Beginners series. In this tutorial, we will be learning how to make a lamp and flashlight in Adobe Illustrator. Let's create a new document. We'll make it a thousand pixels in height and width. Use your rectangle tool, which you can get to with your M key, and draw out a rectangle that is a thousand pixels in width and height. Remove the border and fill the rectangle with a dark gray. I'm going to use the hex code of 3F, 3F, 3F. Open your layers panel and rename back layer 1 background and lock it. Create a new layer above your background and rename it flashlight off. Use your rectangle tool, which you can get to with M. Click on your artboard once. Then make a rectangle that is 75 pixels wide and 300 pixels high. Then fill the rectangle with a blue color. I'm using the hex code 284193. Then go ahead and add a dark gray border. I'm using the hex code 0F, 0F, 0F. And change the stroke to 3. Make a copy of the rectangle with Control C and paste it in front, Control F. And then move this copy above the original rectangle. and then change the height of this copied one so that it is only 60 pixels high. And make sure the stroke is still 3. Then align it to the top of the original rectangle. Use your direct selection tool, which is A on your keyboard, and select the top right anchor point of this second rectangle. And use your right arrow key and move the anchor point 30 pixels. Now use your direct selection tool and select the left top anchor point. And use your left arrow to move the anchor point 30 pixels. Now choose your selection tool with V and make a copy of this second rectangle, Control C. Then use the rectangle tool, which you can get to with M, and draw out a rectangle that covers this top rectangle. Remove the stroke and change the fill to a more of a cream color. I'm using the hex code FCF1D4 and change the height of this rectangle to 20 pixels. And then move the rectangle to the top of the blue rectangle. Now paste the copied rectangle in front, Control F. Now select the blue rectangle that's in front as well as the cream colored rectangle that we just made. Then right click on the selection and choose make clipping mask. Then go ahead and select all the rectangles and group them together with control G. Then choose the rounded rectangle tool and click on your artboard once. 
and make a rounded rectangle that is 100 pixels wide, 10 pixels high, with a corner radius of 10 pixels, and change the color to a gray using the hex code of 6B, 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 and then add a dark gray border. I'm using the hex code 0F, 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 and change the stroke to 3. Now go ahead and move this rounded rectangle to the bottom third of the flashlight body. Then make a copy of the rounded rectangle. And you can do this simply by holding down your Alt and then your Shift key. And then move the copy up around by about 30 pixels. And then make a second copy. Again, holding down your Alt and Shift key and move this up about 30 pixels. Use the Ellipse tool, which is L on your keyboard, and click on the artboard once. And make an ellipse that is 45 pixels wide and 45 pixels high. I want to change the fill to an orange color. I'm using the hex code of DD8C22. And make sure your stroke is 3. And then center the ellipse towards the top of the flashlight body. Then make a copy holding down Alt and Shift and move it down about 30 pixels. Then change the height and width of this copy to 30 pixels each. Open up your Layers panel and create a new layer and name it Flashlight On. Select the original flashlight. You can do this by simply clicking on the target next to the layer name. Make a copy, Control C. Then make sure that you have the Flashlight On layer selected and paste the copied flashlight with control V. Now use your rectangle tool which you can get to by hitting M and click on the artboard once. Make a rectangle that is 130 pixels wide and 100 pixels high. Remove the stroke and change the fill to a light yellow. I'm going to use the hex code of F6F98C. Then align the rectangle to the top of the flashlight. Open up the gradient and add a linear gradient to the rectangle. Then change the angle to negative 90. Double click on the white swatch and choose the third swatch from the right in the top row and change the opacity to 30%. Double click on the black swatch and select the fourth swatch from the right in the top row. Now use your direct selection tool, which is A on your keyboard, and select the right top anchor point of the rectangle. Use your right arrow key and move it 30 pixels. Now select the top left anchor point and use your left arrow key and move the anchor point 30 pixels. Open up your layers panel Lock your two flashlight layers and make a new layer and name it Lamp.
Use the ellipse tool, which you can get to by L on your keyboard. Click on the artboard once. Make an ellipse that is 200 pixels wide by 300 pixels high. And we want to fill this with a light gray color. And make sure that you have this selected on color and not gradient. I'm using the hex code of E2, E2, E2. Then add a dark gray border. I'm using the hex code of 0F, 0F, 0F. And change the stroke to three points. Now use the rectangle tool, which is M on your keyboard. And click on the artboard once. Make a rectangle that is 300 pixels wide and 30 pixels high. I'll align the rectangle with the top of the ellipse. Then make a copy of the rectangle by holding down Alt and Shift and align it to the bottom of the ellipse. Then select the ellipse and both rectangles. Open your Pathfinder tool. And we want to select minus front, which is the second icon under the shape modes. And go back to your rectangle tool, which is M, and click on the artboard once. And make a rectangle that is 135 pixels wide and 30 pixels high. And align the rectangle to the bottom of the ellipse. And change the fill to a burnt orange. I'm using the hex code of 915126. Then make a copy of the rectangle and align it to the bottom of this original rectangle. Use your direct selection tool, which you can get to by hitting your A key. Select the bottom left anchor point of the rectangle. And use the left arrow key and move it 20 pixels. Then select the right bottom anchor point. Use your right arrow key and move it 20 pixels. Now choose the rounded rectangle tool and click on your artboard once. Make a rounded rectangle that is 175 pixels wide, 20 pixels high, with a corner radius of 10 pixels. Then align the rounded rectangle with the top of the ellipse. Now use the ellipse tool, which you can get to by hitting L on your keyboard. Click on the artboard once. Make an ellipse that is 60 pixels wide and 60 pixels high. Then make a copy of the ellipse, control C, paste it in front, control F. Change the copied ellipse to 40 pixels wide and 40 pixels high. Select both of the ellipses, open your Pathfinder tool, and choose minus front, which is the second icon under shape modes. Then use the rectangle tool, which is M on your keyboard, and draw a rectangle over the bottom half of the ellipse. Then select the rectangle and the ellipse. Open up your Pathfinder tool, and again choose minus front. Then align this half ellipse to the top of the lamp. Use the ellipse tool, which is L. Click on your artboard once, and make an ellipse that is 100 pixels wide and 50 pixels high. Then change the fill to a light gray. 
I'm using the hex code of 5E, 5E, 5E. Then use your rectangle tool, which is M on the keyboard, and draw a rectangle over the bottom half of the ellipse. Then select both the ellipse and the rectangle. Open up your Pathfinder tool and choose minus front. Then align this half ellipse to the bottom of the lamp inside the light gray area. Go back to your ellipse tool, which is L on the keyboard, and click once on the artboard. Make an ellipse that is 75 pixels wide and 75 pixels high. Use the anchor point tool, which you can get to with Shift C and select the top center anchor point. Then use the direct selection tool which is A on the keyboard and select the two middle anchor points. And then move the selected anchor points down 20 pixels. Change the fill color to a yellow. I'm using the hex code of F4, F44E. Then align this ellipse to the top of the gray ellipse that we just made. Make a copy of this ellipse, Control C, paste it in front, Control F. Then we need to offset this copy. Go to Object, Path, Offset Path and we want to offset this path by negative 10 pixels. Then change the fill to an orange color. I'm using the hex code of F9751C and then align the copied ellipse to the bottom of the original ellipse. And there you have your flashlights and lamp. I hope you found this useful. Have a good day.